Lie on the right side, please. Pull both knees, bend them to about 90 degrees. Make hands easier. Place the left knee in front of the right knee and return it. Repeat. Move the left knee as if sliding on the right knee as much as possible. It means that you do not lift a lot of left knees. Probably, I think that way is easier. It is necessary to lift a little bit. Because there are things that slip or not depending on the clothing fibers. Let's rest. Pay attention to breathing. Do you have a change in breathing? Is your arm okay? Conversely, move the left knee to the back of the right knee. It will be a little hard to do, but repeat. In case it is not easy to do, adjust the position of the right leg. While doing this, own body. Pelvis. Feeling what movement the left shoulder makes. Slowly. Does your stomach grow larger? Does your chest grow? Shrinking around the waist? Let's rest. Let's take a rest in any way you like. If I keep the same posture for a long time, my arms will be numb. Let's pay attention to breathing. What kind of change was there? Would you like to breathe in from your nose or breathe in from your mouth? Did something change in the tension on your back? How about the stomach? Since it has expanded and shrunk a bit, something changed should have occurred. Also turn right. Pull both knees. Now pull the right leg slightly back. I will put a roller here.
Roll the roller and put the upper knee forward. Adjust the position of the rollers so that the knees move easily. Easily go around the knees. How does the pelvis move? What kind of movement does the ribs do? Where is the most suitable place to leave the ceiling hand? Please keep your left hand on your knees. Slowly. Is there movement on the right leg? Will pressure be applied around the neck? Is your head spinning? Let's rest. Let's take a rest in any way you like. Slowly remove both legs from the rollers. Move the roller toward the chest. Put the left hand on the roller. Use your right hand pillow. Stretch your elbow and put your hand on the roller. Roll the rollers back and forth. Do not bend the elbow. Elbow stretched out roughly. At first it should be a small movement. Elbow stretched out. Move the shoulder blades to move the rollers with the elbows stretched. Slowly. I will do it even more slowly. Let's try not to bend when you notice the elbow bending. Feel what motion the ribs are doing. How does the breastbone move? How about the spine? Is there movement in the upper part of the spine, near the neck?
What kind of movement is in the middle of the backbone? It is in the vicinity of the vertebra protruding behind. Is the pelvis doing something? Is your left knee doing anything? Let's rest. Also, let's pay attention to breathing. Has your breathing become faster or slower? Did your stomach move bigger? Did it get smaller? Has the back started breathing? Let's go back to the same posture again. Put the Han on the roller. This time, leave the hand on there, move left knee back and forth. Both knees and both ankles stay together. Move the left knee back and forth with the ankle together. Knee does not move much. Knee in front. Keep the toes and malleoli of the feet attached, and move back and forth only the left knee. What do you do with your left arm? Does your head do anything? What do you do with ribs? Do you do something on the sternum? Let's rest. Do not you know how to do it?
Let's rest. Let's take a rest in any way you like. Did your back become soft? Is your back on the floor? You can use a pillow. Turning to the right. Put both hands together on the floor. Stretch the left hand first and return it. Elbow stretched out. What is left knee doing? Please remember the move before. Then the left knee will automatically move that way. If the left knee does not move, there is no need to do intentionally. Stop it, then place the palms of hands together. Leave your palm alone, move the left knee back and forth. Keep your big toe and ankle on both feet. It moves only a little. If the left hand moves automatically, please let it move. If your head moves, let it move. Let's rest. On your back. How about breathing? It seems that the back came closer to the floor. I think there is something change. Return to the same posture. Next time the left hand. Place both hands together and move the left hand back and forth. Move the left knee backward accordingly. It will be the opposite movement. Put 
put the left knee forward when the left hand returns. Hand and knee move in opposite direction. Leave the malleoli attached. Hand and knee go in the opposite direction. Feel that they are really going in the opposite direction. Are you off? Reach out the hand. Extend it more. At that time take the knee backward. Do not bend the elbow. The ankles of the feet remain together. Let's rest. Sleeping or sleeping, the last minute is probably very good. When I did that, there is a person sleeping more than half during our training. I guessed the teacher seduced them to sleep. As we did first, lie on the side. Simply lower the knees on the front and back floor. Drop the left knee on the front floor. Return it and put it on the back floor. Forget about the ankle. Did it become smooth movement compared to the beginning? Does the body respond freely to the movement? Let's rest on our back. <laughs>